Hello, fellow gamers. I'm Glory Hound, and this is the lovely Dr. Glory Hog here with me today. You're How welcome. are all of you doing out there? So, Doctor, what are we going to be playing today? So, we are playing Smirk and Dagger's newest cooperative game. This is called The Spill. I'm really excited about this, everyone. This is a cooperative game. It's for one to four players. It should last about 50 minutes. This is going to be on Kickstarter right now, so if you're interested in the game, there should be links in the description. And hello to our chat today. Looks like we have Jolly Lumpy in chat. We have Battlecry and Scott. How are all of you doing? So hello. Scott says, hello, the spill looks fun. Well, we're going to show you how fun it is. Now, this game, I know there's like some other oil-based company games out there. This one I feel like I can be like happier about because I feel like I'm going out and like rescuing animals. And okay. I'm going oh. out and like... So you're talking yeah. about like when you're playing some like pipeline yeah, and I'm like, you're oh, like, you're making more oil like or moving oil. Bad oil company. And then like in this, I'm like, oh, I'm saving baby animal. <laughs> well, I, I think no matter where you stand on oil, I mean, because it is still really important for our society to have Absolutely. something. But we don't right? want oil spills in the ocean. Exactly. So, this... so we at least get to run around and save all the animals. Right. I feel like I'm actually like going to the ocean to actually like help out. So I feel more helpful, I guess, in this game, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what people are you going to meet today? So I'm playing as the risk engineer and the environmental tech. Okay, and I'm playing as the marine vet who, once per turn, they may rescue a healthy marine animal at no cost or a contaminated one at minus AP, and then the hazmat specialist, right. which will remove oil dice at For 2 AP two. instead of 3, which That's is huge, huge. everyone. Yeah. Hello, Andrew, and you hi, Dan. You will die. I think the thing that ends up killing you in this game is definitely the oil. That's the hardest thing to do is removing them. The it's easy to push them back, but to remove it completely yeah. is hard, which, I mean, makes sense thematically because removing oil from the ocean is way harder to do than just to, like, try to contain it. Absolutely, absolutely. So, and if you are interested in any of the details of how to play on this, Game Boy Geek has a how to play on his channel for the spill, so you can go ahead and also check that out if you need all the little details because this is a should you play, not a how to play. Do you want to? Right, so the difference is a should you play is us inviting you to this table right. so you can have a good idea of how the game works and so you can decide if this is something that you want to end up backing or something you want to play, something you want on your game table. Absolutely. So, chat, let's do this. The doctor is going to go ahead and start with all the right. environmental tech. So, normally we're doing, what, three? Because we're, are we doing standard? Three. Okay, I figured we would do the challenge. Oh, we're going to do the middle one. We're going to do the challenge All mode. Right. We did easy last time, and although it was not necessarily easy, I feel like we can handle the challenge, everyone. I so, mean, I'm going to start off immediately with weather, by the way. Oh, no, 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 but you don't roll the spill dice on the first one. Oh, you first okay. go. Because we've already populated the board. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. So, once per turn, you may push back an oil die for free. By moving into its sector. So I'm already over here. I don't have any die right there by those. I wonder if it's worth picking them up before they potentially get it. Where Do we have anywhere that's like double stacked? We don't have anywhere that's double stacked. No, actually the dice fell really, really nicely where they're kind of spread out with everything. So I was like, oh my goodness, that's awesome. We don't have any like super emergencies right off the bat. Hello, we have Smirk and Dacker Games in chat. So if any of you have any questions about the spill, make sure to leave them in mm. the comments, and Kurt should be there to go ahead and answer those for you. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rescue this animal and add it here to our rescue marine life. Okay. I am then going to go one, two. So that's your so, second action. Right, so I've used two actions. For my free action, I'm going to push this one back. So okay. So it goes back into the die back bag into here. Back into the bag. Then I'm going to pick up this, this lovely pelican. Is it a pelican? Yeah, that's a pelican. It's a pelican. It's a pelican. I, I almost forgot what its name was. Do you, was. like, forget all of your sea life because we're in Arizona? <laughs> You're yes. like, I don't know what this is. And then I'm going to go, I'm actually going to try to set myself up for next time. I'm going to go over here for my fourth action. So okay. I'm set here if I need to be. Because that's a good that's... place because whenever the dice fall, like, you can get a contaminated right. animal, like, right off the bat with that one. And we lose by having too many sick animals or... By letting the dice or le by letting the oil overflow, basically. Absolutely. Okay, so that was this character. So now I'm gonna do risk engineer. So the cool thing about the risk engineer is they drop one less die. I'm gonna mix these up. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out two, two, three. Perfect. Uh, two because he has oh, yeah, one less. Oh yeah, because he's a risk engineer. Duh. Um, he knows what's going on. <laughs> all right. So let's see where he these are gonna go. All the risk. This is basically oh, your. Hold on here. I gotta show. I gotta show the the actual. I gotta show the. The dice foliage here, okay? All right, so in this sector here, I've got a two. This is this sector. 
So this so sector right starts from here to here on the board. It is a yep. one through six spread. And that's, right. oh. So double stack that one. Right. And we got a five in that sector. And then sector. we have a five over here, which, which should be right, right there. there. Okay. All right. So not horrible, but not great either. I would just like the dice to be ev evenly spread out through everything, okay? That's what I want. <laughs> so what else do I want to do here? I feel like it's probably just worthwhile just to pick this up since I'm just here. And, and plus it's good to start working towards this set right here so we can get some extra bonuses. Right, because we stuff. need to get at least two sets, plus every time you unlock a full set of Marine Life, then you get a, get a cube, stuff. which you can use for these powers, which are really important. So I'm going to go here. So that's going to be my second action now. I'm going to pick up another one for a third action. And I think I'm just going to pick up this turtle for a fourth action, leaving it so that if you pick up a dolphin, we've got something filled out. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. We'll see if it works out. So Smirk and Dagger says, I like the move for the future. You have to plan for the future. Absolutely. Like. And you're starting with your purple one. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those things you can uh, let the game get away from you very quickly. Yes. If you're not paying attention to where everything's going, you're like, eh, it's over there on so the other the side. The first time we played it, we were way too focused <laughs> on the animals, and we didn't control the oil fast enough, and it became almost overwhelming. All right. Whenever we have, like, the fate of the dice, it's always nerve-wracking for me. We're going to go one here, which, haha, there's no animals there anymore. Okay, and we're going to go four over here, and then over here is three, right there. Okay. So we're doing okay. And you do have a dolphin there you could pick up, potentially, if you... you get that set over there? If we want to rush the set, I right. definitely need to figure this out, though. Okay, so once per turn, I may rescue a healthy marine animal at no cost, which I'm just going to rescue the stingray, since he's here. Like, yeah, I feel like it's super easy, and plus, it makes sure that he's not going to get... Contaminated. contaminated, although we do need to rescue some contaminated animals, right? Right, we do. Okay. Next. Just three, though. So I have four actions. Um, and it's three to do one of this, but you really kind of want me to get over to the dolphin, maybe. No, just so we if, can you can, the set. if you can keep it down, I think that's a good idea. I still think it's worth it. You can move there and we can try to get it later. Because since could I'm already here get it. and right. two dropped here, I feel like it just makes sense to go ahead and do this and then, like, move one. I think. Yeah, I don't want to understand how important the oil dice are. I don't want to forget about right, them. So I'm removing this from the board, which is different from putting it back in the bag. It costs three AP instead of two, or instead of one. Right. But it doesn't go back into this bag, which is like... And it is something we do need to do. We do need to get 12 of them off the board. Well, and this is a, a like last minute sort of win condition, I feel like, is if the bag is empty and like we've made it through that far, then we still we still win at that point. Right. Which is good. All right, so that was my first move, and then my next move, so I you've think got one more action. I'm going to set up. Do you think you're going to get a dolphin? Can I get a dolphin somewhere? I can maybe get a dolphin All my characters else. are like one space away from right, dolphin. I'm going to like move over here, so hopefully I can work on this column after. And then over here, removing the oil di dice cost me 2 AP instead of 3 AP, which is huge with this. Just do it. Get so, it yeah, I mean, why not? This is like 2 right here. Okay. And then I'm going to... I think I'm, do you, uh, should I move like here and go three, four and get the dolphin? You can move there and do it just if we want to trigger, start start filling these cards Let's out. Let's do that. Three, four. I know it's like a little bit riskier with that, but I feel like completing the set is really good because we'll get one of these cubes to put on So here. with these cubes, we can either use a top action for one or some of them have split where you can either do a bigger action that costs you two. So what, what are the two actions? I think those are the ones that... Are the well, really powerful hold ones, on right? here, because if we have the weather radar, we haven't rolled any weather dice yet. Okay. So if we put it on there right away, we're guaranteed just to roll higher, like, as soon as we get a weather die. And we have a better chance of taking the weather die out of there. Unless you, we end up making us roll a five, then it's like, drop three more oil <laughs> dice immediately. <laughs> well, you're thinking so negatively. <laughs> Kurt says, I love the decision. To remove that oil dye, you're right. Once the oil gets out of control, it's really hard to come back. I completely agree. And it gets away from you super, super fast. Okay, the other options we have is if we were doing the two action ones here, right. push back all the dice from any sector back into the bag. And this one here is during the spill phase, do not draw or drop the dice uh, indicated on the tracker this turn, which is also huge, and any extra dice in the action pool either oh they must still be dropped right any other one one of those but that no. was like a really 
That's a whole just non-dropping one. Right, which I think is huge to have it set up because it's still going to take us a whole nother time to get it ready. I'm going to do that one, I think. Now, once we fill them both out, do we have to use it immediately or can we hold no, on to it? No, we can hold it? on to it. But once we actually use the card, it comes off and it right. gets replaced by a new card after we go ahead and use it. Okay. okay. So are we good to go to my turn? I Because we unlocked so. that with your yellow I character, so. the hazmat specialist? Yes. All right, so three die, three die. So we got two in this sector. We got a four and a one in this sector. And we got so that six pushes over up here. here. So this doubles oh, up it's die. so good that you like clear that out, but that is not good at all. <laughs> okay, and I have my green character, so well, I can he's right do. By there. You can do a bunch of different stuff over there. Okay. I think what I want to do is I want to go one and then just spend my action here to pick up do from the bottom to the top oh well first off i can i'm sorry whenever i move to a sector i can push back and i'll di die for free so i'll get push that one out and then i'll pick this one up okay either way right yeah which way. also unlocks a cube for us very nice very and nice now that area is completely clear but that is like the whole environmental tech's whole turn do you want me to put the cube right here i think so i think it's best to have it there okay so, when so we then need like it. whenever we need it right we so if we get a situation where we have a bunch of twos out we can be like let's not roll dice yeah all right so I'm going to move on to the Risk Engineer. I only need to roll two. Hold on, I want to show the, we need to show the rolling. And <laughs> there yeah, we you go. should really check out the <laughs> Kickstarter for like the updated, because yes. this, this is all prototype stuff. The art is more finished and everything and all the dice power and all that. Right, Th these are just the prototype components to make sure it works. So if you are interested, check out the Kickstarter on that one. Ooh, he's, he's contaminated. He's contaminated. You should have saved that dolphin. This is on you. <laughs> This is on you. What? Mm. You can't say that. That makes me feel bad. <laughs> that wasn't on me. That is on you. You rolled the dice technically. <laughs> technically, you're correct. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to keep on with this dice thing. I'm thinking I'm going to try to keep them really low because I feel if you keep the dice low, it gives you more options to get the other stuff. So I'm going to do one. So I'm going to spend three actions to pick up that one. Okay. And then I'm going to move, I think, right here. Because okay. that puts me in a good spot for next time to pick up some animals. All right. And then this poor little animal at the end of your turn, he goes to sick bay. Yeah. There's He's nothing sick. I can do. He's, he, he can't be rescued. He can't be rescued. His bloodline was weak. No. <laughs> That's on him. I've been reading a lot of Red Rising. His bloodline was no, weak. That's on him. That's not how Ooh. that works. He should have been stronger. This is not how that works. It's not my fault he wasn't strong. See how, like, it's really dangerous having those die close to the animals, or at least, like, right. being further away from the you animals. You almost want to rescue all the ones that are deeper in, right? But you can't get them all right away. Right. It's very difficult. You still need some contaminated animals, but still, like, oh. Well, in a perfect world, it gets contaminated, then you're able to go save it right away, but it True. doesn't always happen. All right, let, let me see these dice. Let me yes. see these dice, everyone. Pick something good. Pick something good. Honestly, I just saved the animals I think are the cutest. Ooh, I got a weather. Oh, no way. I feel like the weather die is going to be good, but it it's definitely go way. not good the majority At of the time. At least it doesn't go on the board, right? <laughs> right. So. I, that is true. It doesn't go on the board, but like whenever you pull something different of a different color out of there, I get excited, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, but this is probably not going to be super great for us. Yeah, we'll find out what the weather is going to do. <laughs> it's probably not going to be super great for us. All right. All right, so first off, it's a five. So it's immediately dropped three more oil no. dice. So we have options. No. We could we could use that card to negate it. The weather dice. We could also use that it's card during to... During the spill phase. Oh, gosh. Oh. This is bad, too. This is a three. So this goes up here. Oh. So now we're in that situation that's not good, right? Where's my other die at? Uh, they're over here. Um, there's one there. Nice. I think there's one on the back end, too, is there? Do, do, do. Oh, no, it's only the two because one of them was the weather die. All right. I got the other one. So that's a big problem. Can you even get over there and do anything? That moves up the spill-out track, too, because that's a spill-out. So should we be right here on the second three? And we've only had the one. Oh, okay. So it does start here. Yeah, it starts in the black, and then it goes to the green. So... Yikes. And we, okay, and then we have to roll more dice. Just drop three, three more. more oil dice. Just three more. Who lets a bad die roller touch the dice? <laughs> That's fair. 
That is fair. <laughs> Battle cry, no, right? I, sometimes the dice towers help, though, and it didn't. I know. Oh, no. I'm super sad about this. Ooh, my God. This All is, the oh, same no! sector? That's bad. You know that's bad, right? How did this turn so quickly? We got a one. Oh, we geez. got a two. We got a five, which the five goes over here and, and contaminates that animal too. Yeah, this is going poorly. What did you? What were you thinking? If you could not roll I them all into one spot, are you? Like I had you everything under in, control, and what when happened? When you throw them, I'm, I've seen you play basketball. So when you throw them out, are you putting a spin on the ball? I'm are you not putting, putting a, a spin? spin? I'm not spinning the dice as they go on the you dice You need tower. to, otherwise oh, they could I all need fall to? this. Yeah. You want to you want to kind of you like shake it like no, this, so this and what you I like do. drop. I kind of like throw it in like at a corner so that it kind of bounces around for more randomization. Pro tip: you don't want to you don't want to drop it straight down and have them all potentially go the same route. It's like chaos theory. Did you not watch Jurassic Park? <laughs> this is not good. Okay, Doctor Ian Malcolm tried to show you. <laughs> Jeez, so it's going to take me two AP to even get over here. But then it only takes you two to save it with your it character, does. right? It does. I think it's worth it because we do need to do I, that I'm, also. I'm going to have to leave this pelican behind. So one, two, this is one action. This is another action. So that's two actions. This is my third action. So we're going to save this contaminated. He stays and on then, his contaminated side. With my fourth action, I'm thinking maybe just pushing back the die. Yeah, push back the die. out there. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And just hopefully start pushing back that. Well, what happens if you roll another three? If you roll and another three, filled. then it happens again. Oh, if it's filled, then it goes over here. Oh, okay. So or, you yeah, definitely it starts don't want going, that. Yeah, it starts going and collecting in different areas and messing up different areas. So. All right. Well, it is. Now it's your other turn with yellow, but I guess you got to drop some dye, Well, huh? hold on. we got to remove this other sick animal. Oh, yeah. Does he go up there? Yeah. I feel so yeah. bad. We lost a turtle and a dolphin. That's not good. Uh, do either of you feel like the dice tower is easy to manipulate to ensure dice no. go to certain sectors? No, I'm just making a joke that you want to <laughs> throw it just to make it kind of spin around in there more. That's right. You know, okay, so so Kurt brings up a really important point. You can always take up to two extra actions. The cost is the fact that I would take two dice from here and then instead of rolling three, three dice, die, you'll so roll five. I'm, right, but... Hey, hold on, but, oh, no, wait, I still would have to roll them. Okay, so we have the chemical dispersant here. Right. Which would make it so we would only roll whatever the, the two, two actions was. Can you do something in two actions? Is that important? You can't get over well, there. Instead of having that it. spill by go to the bag, we could always have it removed, or I could sit here and remove another die. I don't know if it's worth it. You don't think so? I think once we've got more, two, we've only got two sections with twos lined up. I think it'd almost be better to use it with your yellow character to make sure that we can get rid of some of these twos done or something. Okay. All right. All right. But right? It's, it's a good it's a good strategy, though, to do that and then along with this one because then we're still not rolling as many die. Right. Okay. No, I agree. Let's move on to the hazmat I'd, specialist. I'd rather use it whenever we've got a whole bunch of twos out and we're like, we're like, oh, what are we going to do? We can just skip it and then like... Let's do this, hazmat specialist. You've got this. Remember, You've got just this. throw them in there oddly. Okay, okay, okay. Like one at a time? Sure, or, one at a time. I mean, and then chuck can... them in different corners. Okay, like... Just throw them in. There like you go. That. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Don't be crazy. That's evenly dispersed. Oh, no. Another three? We another went right three. back? Another three, yeah. Another three. That is an oh, no. <laughs> and that doubled up. And by my nice oh no, I really like off camera would be like, what the heck? <laughs> does this weather die go back in there? No, it does not. Okay, it does not. It stays out. out. Throw it so, right there. All right. So things happened. This is things not going as well as it was going. Everyone. It's. I was very confident, and now I am fifty percent less confident. <laughs> so what can you do? Ruby okay, well, can... cost you two, right? So you could go I'm over to move. the purple. That's true, but I thought maybe I would get ahead of this one, two, one sure. over here, maybe. I mean, who knows if we'd roll a so, three? And then it's going to take me two over here. Right. I guess the chances of rolling a three in that sector is pretty low because, like, first off, the die has to go in that sector and it has to roll a three. So yeah, maybe go hedge our bets. I'm going to go here. here. That's one action, and it's going to cost me two to remove this. So that's three right there. And then I'm going to save a little animal now, for four. One, remember one other thing you can do is you could spend one extra die, like an extra action to have two again to remove the other five, which Ooh. will actually get us a cube also. 
So I know earlier you were saying you wish we had some of these other things unlocked. That would get us a cube. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's still do the animal, and then I'm going to do two die. No, don't do two. Just do it once. Don't save the animal. I'm maximizing. I That's not maximize. maximizing. I need to maximize because if I do this, then we only have the two to roll. Well, then we'd have to use a card. I was still trying not to use oh, a card. You're still I was trying saying not just we'll roll card? four next time. It's okay in order to get another die off the board and unlock something else potentially. Does that make All right. sense? Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. But you know, I'm just going to say as a hazmat specialist, that doesn't seem very good. Okay. I'm just. <laughs> well, we're going to unlock another cube, so where do you think it should go? I thought you wanted to put on the weather bonus or something. Yes, please. Let's do the weather bonus, everyone. I need these weather bonuses. <laughs> I need my rolls to be better. I need to hedge my bets on all rolls, like, just period. I'm not very good The goal at is you want to hit, like, a 6, 7, or 8, because then you'll get some extra actions instead of anything yeah, you'll bad get an happening. Yeah, you right? Yeah, but if anything low happens, it's going to be bad. Or basically, 5 or below, it's all bad stuff. 6 or above, it's good. Okay, it's your turn. So, All right, so we're going to roll four die this time. I love the look of the Dice Tower Rig artwork on the Kickstarter page. Is that the final look? That's a good question, Scott. It's got to be a lot closer to the final look than this one. So this one, you took that die from the extra action, and then yep, we're rolling so I'm roll with four. the three. How did you... G you got them exactly in each quadrant, Doctor. I don't play around. <laughs> I play dice games, remember? This guy's remember? a four. This guy over here is a three. So we're good over there. So, so, right, this doubled up here and doubled up here. Now, remember how I was talking about, like, there'll be a time where we probably don't want to roll dice? This is getting close this to that time. This is getting close to the time. Yeah. It's I, almost the time, everyone. So for this one, whenever I move into the sector, I can push something back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here because this seems bad, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go one, two, one, two. I guess it doesn't so really matter. So two actions. Right, I've spent two actions. And it says, once per turn, I can push an oil die back for free by moving to the sector. So I'll push this oil die back, right? Okay. So it goes back in the bag. So that's for free. Now I've got two I can still do. So I could push again, or I could try to... I'm so far away. I mean, I guess I could pick this up and then push this one out. So that's two actions, right? Because I could save the dolphin. That'd be helpful. It so would I'll be helpful. Save the yeah. dolphin, and then I'll push this one off. So the tower will be orange and may end up with a decor kit at the end if we hit some stretch goals. Ooh, that would be amazing. And the Game Boy Geek says, avoid the spill outs, push back and get rid of those dice. I know, it's, start it's not starting to look good, right, Dan? So if I go to the risk engine, I'm only going to do two, two die. So it's not worth using it now. We might want to use that card for you just if it gets any worse. Like we, because we, yeah, we need that three out of there. Don't go that way. A three went that way. Okay, let's re-roll this one because he got a little stuck. There we go. Oh, geez. Five. Okay. So. So that contaminates over here. That guy. So that three is going to hit that. We need to get rid of those threes, apparently. They are, like, lucky. This three is going to go in this section right here. And I believe that still triggers the spill out. If Kirk's in chat, he can let us know for sure. I but think I would, would move it up just, just one just in case. Yeah, if he tells us it's not, we can always move it back. So, if I take, I haven't taken my actual actions yet, though. So I will save. Yeah, you just rolled the dice. Saving all of these here would get us another cube if I saved all these, just as an FYI. So I could Me save. Two. It's one. Here you may. Two. Okay, so what I'm going to okay. do is I'm going to save this. Okay. Turtle. I'm going to save this here, this seahorse. So okay. that's two things. I'm going to move, and then I'm going to push a die back. Okay. Which I think was just still... Pushing a die is def definitely just the Band-Aid. Right. It's well, just it's, the Band-Aid. It's like taking one person off when you're playing Pandemic, okay. right? Like curing one thing. So this is another bad thing right here that's happening. <laughs> like so many bad things that's happening. <laughs> but what triggers it? It's if we... So, okay, really quick. Kurt, so if we went ahead and had another three that showed up, we move it clockwise, but do we activate the spill out again over here? I just want to double check. We did move it up one. And then... What was I talking? Oh, okay. So the other thing is here is one of the ending factors in this is if we have one of each type of animal that is contaminated in the sick bay. That could actually, okay. Which we're halfway to that end point here where we lose the game. Well, we just need to really pay attention to what else gets hit. But we've also so, got six die out, which is pretty good. I mean, we still need to get 12 is good. die out. 
So we're halfway done with that quest. So we got to make sure... We're halfway done with this objective. We are one away from this objective, and we're two away from this objective. So if we can save two more contaminated, save an octopus, save a contaminated octopus, like really hedge our bets, <laughs> and then get six more die out, we're, we're going to actually do okay. No, only when it feels, not when it overflows. Okay, thank okay. you so much. So we're still in the three range. So <laughs> on your turn, we do have that card that we could not roll die if we want to. Yes. And Scott says, get the PR machine ready because it's not looking good. I totally agree. And hello, Marie. How are you doing? So, okay. Yeah, I think it's a good idea not to have... Like, let's not roll die right now. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to use this. We're not going to roll any die for that phase. Another one of these comes out. I'm going to read it to you. Medical kit. Rescue a contaminated marine animal in a sector occupied by any ship or rescue... Rescue a contaminated marine animal anywhere on the board, which would be really big for us just to fulfill all our yeah. goals. Like, that would be helpful then to be able to grab that. Then we the octopus is to get, like, oily. <laughs> we're like, yeah, hit that octopus. <laughs> yeah. No, we're cleaning up the ocean. Listen, we're not supposed to be rooting want, for the oil. I want an oily cephalopod now. No. <laughs> That's a twofer. That fills out this line here and gets us another contaminant. We need an oily oh, cephalopod. Geez. Hey, I don't even care if it's a squid. If it's oily enough, I'll take no. it. It's like covered in oil, so you don't know what it is. Yeah. You're like, yeah, that's good enough. It's, it's got like seven-ish arms. That's it's fine. It's a squid. It's fine. <laughs> now, do you think the squid are over here helping, or do you think they're just putting more oil out there? You know, because they do the ink. No, they're, they're just also. Do you think they're just hiding out in this oil spill? No, I don't Probably think that's not. how that works. I don't think that's how that works. Okay. If so... we set fire to the oil, though, then the ocean will put it out no, eventually, and it'll burn no. off all the oil, right? All right, I'm gonna use my three. I like how you're casual about how these giant sharks are right here. You're not saving any <gasps> sharks, I've noticed. I didn't even see them. Yeah. Have you saved a shark? No, you haven't. I That's have not. messed up. I have not. They just want to be your friend. Mm, they just want ocean hugs. <laughs> they want ocean hugs. <laughs> All right, so that's three. So I have one action left, and then my free action to, like, rescue something. I can just, like, come over here and rescue this octopi. Yeah, this which does right give here. us... A cube, because that fills out. So that actually does this goal here, which is just says, uh, remove, or was it, save two full sets of marine life. So we've actually completed one of the wind completed conditions. Completed one of the wind conditions, everyone. It wasn't, wind it wasn't oily, but he was still a good cephalopod. So do we want to do the contaminant boom, where we push back all the dice from any sector back into the bag, or where we rescue the contaminated marine animals, or we place the dice anywhere on the board? I think rescue the marine animal because that's what you're worried about us okay. losing right well it just gets us to our, our goal faster now, do we want to put it on to, do we want to put it there or do we want to put it on the one where there's as long as there's a boat in that sector because technically i'm in this sector and this sector well sector meaning just this so like you would have to be in... isn't it sector based off of this no it's based on this is this is the sector right here oh okay yeah so you wouldn't be able to do it across or anything that's why the second portion here is well, really powerful because you can rescue them from any contaminated region on the board. I thought earlier you told me that this is a sector. I might have misspoke as far as it being a sector, but this, I'm just saying that is one through six is based upon this okay. fallout here. Okay. Okay. So for this guy here. You got to roll dice first. I got to roll dice. All right. Give me my dice. Go for it. Give me these dice. I think I think you need to do all of those. Which one? Which all the cards or all of the goals? We need to do all the things for sure. Yes. That's always what I want to do. If you're not looking to do all the things in the game, are you even playing? So they're talking about if the the our spill out dice would have caused another one to completely. Oh fill yeah, up, then that it would have been a spill out right. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Then you get like a chain reaction going on, and then you just watch the world burn. Did you get one stuck? How are you doing this? I'm just really bad with rolling dice. Just 100%, everyone. I'm just really bad <laughs> with rolling dice. What is happening here? This isn't great. That's your business over there. If you... <laughs> Thanks. Did you get all the dice? I did. Because there was a one and a six. You need to take care of that over there. I've been taking What's care happening? of it. What's happening? We're getting a lot of twos out here. I'm not happy. <laughs> Now I'm starting it's, to look back at that push all dice laughs. from any one sector. I know, right? It's like super scary laughs. Okay. I will... Ah, so four quadrants, six sectors in each quadrant. There we go. There it is. There okay. you go. So 
Yeah, I was thinking it was like this whole thing, and I was like, man, that's a good thing. Do you have this region taken care of where I can move no. my yellow ship down over here? Because this is still kind of getting spicy over right. here, They're too. They're all bad. Just pick the least getting bad. Getting spicy. I trust you to pick the least bad. <laughs> like, where are you at? I'm way over on this side of the board. I need to move way over. So, one. one and, action, then and then I think one? we're going to go. Get rid of those threes. Because those are the death of us. Yeah. And then I can go ahead and remove one right. or two. I just, I don't even want to see another three again in my life. That's, those are the worst. Mm, okay, so now we can we're going to roll a two and trigger another one over there well, just hold because. hold on. So we can still, if we want to roll more dice, I could take another dice off. Um, we probably don't want to roll more dice. Probably not. not. Yeah. Never mind. That Everything. whole extra action, whenever you, it's a very tempting thing. <laughs> I see. Yeah. It's very mean. Very mean, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go to the environmental tech. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got a weather die. I vote you push the oil back first to prevent further animal contamination. We need to save at least one more contaminated animal, though. Oh, we did get a weather die? Yeah. So it's a four, oh, five, let's six. This. Let's do this. Right? Yeah, boom. Weather radar. Boom. Boom. Weather so radar. So all specials gain one free AP. So we all yes. gain one. So okay, put it so on this. Okay, so put it on the little thing so you remember. Woo-hoo-hoo. That worked oh, out. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm and talking about. This was about. a six here. And this is a one. That one goes there. Over there. Boop. How do you feel with that one extra action? Do you feel like really mighty? I don't feel really like... Mighty? I feel like you're very casual with your bloops. And I don't... <laughs> with my bloops into yeah. the water. <laughs> you're just like, bloops, no big deal. This is easy. Well, All right. So here's what, I'm, here's what I'm thinking, right? I'm playing with... Oh, I'm playing with green. Yeah. Why did you get sad? What's wrong with the environmental tech? You know, no, I wanted to do this one. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm going to go. I think Scott, though, has, like, the real plan is maybe just push back the oil a little bit first and then maybe do more of the other ones. I don't know. We're walking a very fine line, everyone, okay? <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. Ready? I'm going to go. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. So, uh... Kurt says, technically, you have to use that card before the die is rolled, but oh, okay. I appreciate it. I didn't even see he rolled it until, like, he rolled it, and I was like, oh, wait, there's a weather die in there. So, absolutely. Good note. That was our intention to do as soon as we hit a weather die. Anyway, so I'm going to go one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which will automatically push one back. Okay. Because I'll use my special ability. So, I've used one action, and I'm going to go one, two. That's two actions. Three, four. Just That's three actions. I'm going to push this one back. Okay. And then I'm going to use my last, my bonus action, right? Should uh, I use you it already now? used your bonus action, I thought. No, I used my character's action. Oh, your bonus action. That's right. So I'm going to use, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this to move here. Okay. And then I'm going to use an extra die to Are take this die out. Oh, okay, okay. But it's okay because this guy rolls one less. Okay. So it's really like not, but that. Got rid of three different sectors that had twos on them. No, that was really good. That was a good play. That cleaned up a lot of stuff on the board. It looks like we only have problems with the one over there then. Yeah, the one's over there, and then your and then whole side is a, just well, a mess. Well, not my whole side. It's like two areas, okay? The whole side like is two a sectors. mess. <laughs> we'll let you have it. We appreciate it. All right. So I'm going to move on. So I did use this. I'm going to move on. Okay. So now you grab the extra right. action point guy with your stuff. One, two, three, because he always rolls one less. Right. That was a good way of kind of like moving them around a little bit. So you kind of got what you needed. Oh, gosh. I did not want you to come over to my sector. A I got five a and three a three. and a five. So there's a five. And the three is it's brand new. Yep. yep. And then we have a six way over here, which is going to go. Right over here. Yep. You got it? Yeah. The six. There we go. All right, perfect. So I don't feel like that was that bad. Yeah, I would have preferred if it wouldn't have done that, but what right, are you gonna do? Right, just cleared out over there and kind of got a good like thing going on, but. So for the content for the risk engineer, I'm gonna spend three action points to take this die off, which gives us a cube. Okay, I have to say that I do feel like we're doing better now. I feel like we have this under control. Give give us a cube. Okay. <laughs> Let's, so we should fill out that one that we were talking about since we already started it. Push back all dice from any sector back no, into the bag. The, remove a contaminated animal from anywhere on the yes. board. In case we do have In one. In case we do get one, then we card, can immediately we can do use. it and fulfill that. Right. So, so I have one more action. I'm not going to head that way. I think I might head this way. 
Scott says, nice turn. While it would be nice to save all the animals, I would still use the sick bays as much as possible to stop the overflow of oil. Oh, absolutely. You just have to be a little careful about the amount of animals you get in those sick bays because it can, again, with everything in this game, it's like it can get away from you very quickly when you're not like paying attention to it. You really have to divide your time on that. So I moved over here in case it does get contaminated. At least I've got a character over there potentially. Okay. So maybe we won't have to use the card. Okay. But it is your go. Okay. It's up to the Marine vet now. And not like a Marine vet like in the military, like a Marine vet like he's going to give penicillin to a dolphin. <laughs> Very different Marine vet. <laughs> so let's see. It's tough for the first time players to sacrifice the animals, but you're right, Scott. It is. It's so yeah. tough. We had, I we had to saved, save all the animals. We had saved like four different levels of animals the first time we played it, but then the oil so overran us. And that you do, and you have to let someone go, and it's super sad. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying this like patented like mm, right in there. That well, was not kind it. of, but it got some different places. It got some different places. You mostly just rolled them <laughs> into my sector. Oh, we have a spill out, and we got a contaminated no. animal. Well, yes and no. We have favorable winds over here to cancel the effects of a weather die, including a roll of one. Ooh. Okay, so right. and then your two over there goes. Mm -hmm. Got what, it. Right here. Yeah. So wow, you made my area horrible. <laughs> so we did have a spill out here. Look, we had a spill out here. So do we want to use that one then right away? I think so. Okay. Since I won't be able to get to it, it's going to die. All right, let's do that. And plus, like, we needed that one anyway. So yeah, it gets us closer to it. So we have the call specialist. You may swap your specialist card for one not currently in use, and or use you may gain the ability of any specialist in addition to your own this turn, which is a super, super powerful ability because these specialist abilities are huge. Oh, you know, I actually didn't even use my bonus AP. I totally forgot. We'll wait, ar wait oh, around yeah. and then use it. Yeah. That's fine. I forgot. All right. I'll use it. So. But don't forget to use yours. Right. So you have all your actions plus the bonus. So we're going to go one action. Okay. I think I'm going to rescue this dolphin right here for, for free, free. For free. Okay. Then I'm going to use three. Take away a die. To take away a die. And then I have one extra action, which I think I just may push this back. Yeah, you can just push it back to get it done. Like, why not, right? Yeah. There's nothing else there. All right. Those are those. And then. Hazmat for specialist. my next trick. <laughs> We're getting close. If we get two more die off the board and we can rescue one more contaminated animal, we'll win. Oh, I got a weather die in this one, everyone. This is not Why, good. Are you rolling three or four? Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were rolling four. I'm like, don't make it harder. We have... This one's a four right there. That one's this a six. This one's a six right there. What three says all movement is reduced by one. Oh, no. That's not as oh, great. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. It's stormy out. <gasps> oh, I wonder if Andy sleeps at night putting the players through a Sophie's Choice. For real. Yeah. For real. How does he do it? <laughs> All right. So what are you going to do? I mean... I mean, movement's reduced by one, but you could but still could move still over here, and take one. I think one. I'm going to take care of this stuff here. Okay, so... Get that blast. That's one action. Out of there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this one here, and that's for two actions. I still have two actions left. Take another one, can't you? Or is that, you can only do that once? The moving oil die cost you two. Just take the other, take yeah, that two out Yeah, I think out I'm going to take the other two, but I was going back and forth between that and the animal, but yeah. Have no. we done all of our contaminated animals? No, we need, now, okay. Now so, we need, like, one more contaminated animal. What so do we need? I will tell you. Okay. Save two full <laughs> sets of marine life. We've done that. Remove a total of 12 oil dash game. We just completed that. Now okay. we just need to save one more contaminated animal. <gasps> I'm feeling really good about this, everyone. We don't have that card anymore, okay. but we'll have to figure that out. But I am out. feeling good about this now. <laughs> we do need another cube, though. We did unlock a cube. Okay. Where do we want to put it? So cancel the effects of a weather die, which we have three of them out, and I think there was only three in there. So that actually does not matter too much. Push back all the dice from any sector back into the bag. You may gain that the ability of another uh, 
person this turn. And this one here, instead of placing the dice any, instead place those dice anywhere on the board. I almost kind of like the contamination boom one, where we could push all dice from a sector. I do too, because then it just takes care here. of like one full sector. Did we go up the spill track for that whenever it went I over? I did. Okay. Yeah. Trust me, I did. It was painful. <laughs> all right, and so that takes care of him. All right, my go? Yes. Three die, three die, three die, and I'm playing with green. Okay. So now it's just a matter of like making sure nothing spills over while we try to find an animal that needs help. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know what this was. Oh, there's four weather dies. I don't actually know what that was. I'm uh, so go ahead sorry. and roll it again. I bumped it as I was trying to pull it out without being able to see it. It was in this sector, though. Yeah, we'll so. keep it in that sector, but roll it again. Well, there, there you go, go, six. That's actually bad. Oh. So that, well, actually, no, it's not, because it flips this. It was this. good and bad. This moves so up the spill up track, right? Oh, are we going to win right now? It's my turn. <gasps> are we going to win right now? You need to calm down. So, <laughs> rescue a contaminated marine animal costs you 2 AP. Yes. So, I'm going to spend 2 AP and rescue this one. And that's it. That's We're game? Good. That's we game. We, we won this time. We got into yellow, <laughs> but we won still, ultimately. Boom. Yes. Yes. And I didn't even need my extra actions. And you didn't need your extra action. That was awesome. I mean, technically, I would probably well, push a die back. This but. time, we did a really good job of keeping up on those oil spills and dividing our time because, man, the first time we did a terrible job of figuring out what the heck we were doing. <laughs> well, we, did, we did still have four spills, which was not, we did. I mean, that's. And then we these did. two were spilled next to each other, so that was a real bad combo where they could have spilled all kinds of different ways. Oh, definitely, because. A when five or a happens, six in this section would have just rolled yeah, over. Yeah, and you start contaminating other sections. And if you get a whole section like that, it's very easy to get that overflow. Because if you have six of them that all have three, like that's an end game condition as well on this. Right. Oh, thanks so much, Scott. So, again, if you're not right on top of things, it you're going to get like, you're going to get tagged for it later on. You're just going to get tagged for I, it later on. I feel on. like this time we had... Luck mostly go in our favor. Yes. Mostly. We had a few things that were like, oh, no, but like I think we did better. But, of course, last mm -hmm. time when we were playing with our daughter, like, we saved, like I said, a ton of animals, but we didn't pay attention to the oil at all, and then we just got overrun. Right. And Kurt says, you do have to remove the oil before rescuing an animal, but had plenty of actions oh. left, so nice okay. win. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. So, if any of you really enjoyed this playthrough and want to know more about Kickstarter, check out the link in the description below because this just went up on Kickstarter today. Make sure and check it out and like look at the actual tower and right, the way the it's going to look. Right, like, the updated components. This is the prototype, everyone. Like, it's going to look so much more amazing in person, okay? And then, what else? I want to be very clear. We're leaving the rest of these animals to die, correct? No! Because <laughs> it seems like you're ready to go home. I feel like there's more work no. to be done. We're not leaving all the animals I know animals we, to we die. won the game, but I feel like we you have feel work like we to do. We still need to go and oh, rescue yeah. all the animals. Yeah, I feel like we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> and if you really want to know the in-depth portion of the rules on this and kind of what we were doing and why we were doing things, make sure to check out the Game Boy Geeks How to Play video on this because he goes through everything step by step from the setup of the game to how all of the characters work, the actions, exactly the the way things unfold and how you need to play the game. It's very, very accurate. I went back and looked through it all. It was very amazing. Loved it, Dan. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, ring the bell to get notified whenever anybody goes live. And other than that, I think that's it, right? Share this to all your friends that love non-oil covered animals, yeah. right? Save all the animals, So don't everybody, share it to okay? Battle Cry. Oh, no deep fried animals, Battle Cry. <laughs> don't share with Battle Cry. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see all of you later. Bye. Bye.